Hello, I'm Atuba Jordan. Today is the last day of 2019. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, I just want to bless God for every one of you that take out time to watch this broadcast. You know, and 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 you, some of you that take out time to pray for us and I get your messages. You know, everything you do, you you share these videos, you send it to your friends, everything you have done to help us reach out you know to people some of you even give financially i just want to appreciate you on this day listen you are part of those that made 2019 worth it you helped us take out the gospel out there i want to appreciate you and i pray that the spirit of god who called us into this work that we are doing will remember you and will reward you abundantly is God. Listen, I'm so excited about 2020. It's going to be a special year. I know that. You know, like I was telling you yesterday, listen, don't judge prophecies by the physical happenings. Judge by the leading of the Spirit of God. That's how you judge prophecies. See, because there are two things you need to understand, and, 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 and this, is, this is how it works. When God speaks to you, you need to know if God is giving you light or God is giving you a lamp. Now, David said in Psalm 119, he said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Now, the light shows you where you are going. But if you don't have a lamp, it might be a bumpy ride getting there. You understand what I'm saying? But the lamp shows you where to put your foot on. See, so when you've got the light and the lamp, then you are going to be going on a smooth sail. Praise God. If you've got the lamp and you don't have the light, you, you, you actually get to the right place. But you see, you will be taking the right steps without knowing what you're doing until finally you, oh, wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. See, but when you've got the two, while you're going on your journey, Mian, like I told you yesterday, line must be upon line, precept must be upon precept. As the Lord is leading you through those paths, oh, okay, I can see how this is leading to where I'm going because you know where you're going. Praise God. So it gives you hope. Now, you know this, you know, if you've been working with God for a while, you, you know that many times when God begins to lead you, it's for example, if God, if God is telling you to go up, God, you know, the light shows that you're going up. You know the lamp might be taking you downwards. So, but, but how does it correlate? Yes, because sometimes the door to that up journey is downwards. See, for example, who would have told Joseph that the door to his fulfilled dream, the door to him being the prime minister was in the prison? How would you have explained that to Joseph? Is God. See, only God does those things. I have shared this with you. Our own part is to believe Him. And you know what it is to believe God. Some of you don't understand. You, you want to believe God, but yet you, you want to still hold on to your thoughts and imaginations. Sometimes in believing God, you've got to let go of your thoughts and your imaginations. Oh yeah. Joseph, you know I ask this question all the time. Do you think Joseph didn't know the way back to his father's house? I mean, you may say, okay, he was a slave in Egypt, but think about it. At a certain time, he was the chief slave in Potiphar's house, meaning he could have told Potiphar at that time, say, sir, there's a farmland I want to go and inspect for you because I want you to purchase it. God, boy, it's going to take me like five days journey, you know, to go and to come back. And Potiphar would have, because by then he was a trusted servant, Potiphar would have said, no, anything you just want to do, just, to just give me the reports. And he would have gone visit his parents, or he would have escaped. But why didn't he do it? Because he was hearing the voice of God lead him. And the voice of God was the one telling him, relax, I am with you. Now that's all you need from God. All you need from God is that he be with you. And listen, that is a sure promise that he has given us. What did he say? I will never leave you. I will never 
forsake you. Praise God. Now, that is a word God has given to us and he cannot deny it today. He cannot change from me. Remember, he says, I'm not a God. I'm not a man that I, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is it the son of man that he should repent. He did not lie when he said he will be with you. And he's not going to repent because he said, oh, this guy, see this guy. I don't like him anymore, so I'm not going to be with him. No, 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 no. For him to do that, he has to stop being God first. Praise God. So, he's with you. And that's all you need. Now, what's he doing with you? Standing there and fighting all the enemies on your behalf. No, sir. He is with you primarily to give you the instructions you need to live your life. So, question. Are you taking advantage of God being with you? Did you take advantage of that in 2019? Listen, if you know God is with you, you will know one thing, you will never be stranded. You know why? Whatever situation you are in right now, God is going to speak to you about it and tell you what to do. Now, that's the reason. Remember Abraham. You know, sometimes you think about this thing, you want to wonder how. Abraham was a good man, right? He, he was a good man. But now, when Sarah spoke to him about sending Haggai and Ishmael away, he wasn't happy about it. Now, he, you could see a man that is like, what, what, what are you talking about? How can I just send him away like that? That's wrong. I can't do that. And he went before the Lord and the Lord said, Abraham, do just like your wife has said. Now, Abraham at that point was a very rich man. Abraham at that point had several servants in his house. But guess what? When he sent Haggai and Ishmael away. He didn't even care to send one servant to follow them. A male servant, for example. He didn't care to load them with food and, and, and provisions. No, he just sent them away. Just like God said, send them away. Now, someone will look at it and say, did Abraham suddenly become wicked? No, no, no. Abraham believed God. Abraham had faith that this same God that is telling me to send these people away, he knows very much how to take care of them. So I'm just going to obey God. Sometimes we do that. We obey God with plenty of cares in our mind. See, God says, send this child to that school. And, and, and okay, um, then you start thinking of all the extra things you can add. Hey, God who spoke knows why and he he's made all the provisions guess what when Haggai and Ishmael got into trouble and, and they were thirsty they were hungry what happened they cried to the Lord and did God say hmm, I can't hear you what did God do he showed up he answered them and he showed them where to get water and he supplied them provision and made them a promise praise God now that's how God is praise God as the year closes today I just pray that the Spirit of God will first of all open your eyes to see what He's doing in your life. I mean your own life personally. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for 2019. I'm talking to you now. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Thank you for the testimonies that you share. We bless God for you. <laughs> Praise God. Have a blessed day. So I'm going to see you next year. Think about it. So I'm not going to talk to you again until next year. <laughs> Praise God. Of course, that's in a few hours time. Praise God. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.